Good Monday morning folks, bit of a mix today, anyway, start off the day with this, it's not the Reaper today, it's the Ghost Chili, because I want to get rid of a bottle that I'd got open, so I put uh, the Ghost Chili sauce in, and as I very often do, I freaking overdid it, so it is quite spicy you can feel it going down put it that flipping way but who bloody cares it's a flipping lovely tasting one anyway so bits and bobs i got today and at the end the clue what's coming up so I think all my bits and bobs are here. Um, oh, probably, no, I'll do the silly one first. I walk through a shop and I see things and that's it. And this is a grocery come bits and bobs, whatever shop. But on the way through I saw this salt and pepper and I'm a bit of a bloody idiot when it comes to things in little mason jars and that sort of thing and if I open it up it is salt and pepper and I bought two sets <laughs> get a lovely little solid white card in the middle which is a bonus but they're in like little mason jars with an handle, glass, pepper, salt. So I bought those, then a little bit later I thought, I don't really put it, put it anywhere as such, so how about buying two more? So I did, and I bought two more, and... I took the salt and pepper out, put it in other containers. And this one has got cayenne pepper, because I I love pepper in coffee or chocolate, hot chocolate, whatever. Cayenne pepper is even better. So, but why not? It's in there. It's got the holes in the top. Can give it a good shake. And they all match. And this one with the S on because there's not so many holes well I don't know actually there's probably as many holes as uh, the flipping P but I thought there'd be less that's what I've got left of the Carolina Reaper powder so I must buy more and that will be able to shake into different things so yeah, uh, they were £1.59 a set, so it's not that bad. So got a salt and pepper shaker, cayenne and Carolina Reaper shaker. So I'm sort of pretty happy with that. Oh, before I go on, bought this the other day, you'll be glad to know. Uh, those of us that grew up with dib dabs, like Kali or Sherbet, whatever we called it, in there, and you had a little lollipop you dipped in. Well, open this and slung the lollipop. Thought, what I'll do is I'll have some with a spoon because you get more. And, uh, where dib dabs were just a little bit tangy and sweet this one is actually called dib dab sour and guess what it's a green freaking packet again <laughs> so just want to show you what freaking green dib dab is like so that's the powder Looks ominous, doesn't it? 
so I don't know whether to have a little bit on the spoon or the thing with powder is I can't freaking spit it out like a ball or something like that so there you go oh shit and dip dabs are nice I grew up with dip dabs first time I come across the sour yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not going to like this one freaking bit on the other hand, I might. Might be bloody nice. But we shall see. Uh. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm going to freaking regret this. I know. I know I'm going to regret it. Put the packet down. One, two, two and a half. Two or three quarters. <laughs> I would have freaking do it. Please be nice. Please be nice. Can't be that bad, can it? A dib dab. I grew up with the bloody things. Green packets frighten me now. Right. Be a man. Well, Whew. well, it's not the worst one. It's not the worst one in the world. <sighs> it's not as bad. I don't think it's as bad as the atomic one and that other bloody thing I had and it it does oh, sorry, my flicking eye hurts I don't know if it's that or that my eyes stinging so not as not as bad as the atomic the atomic ones and that that I, it hits my tongue and I go <laughs> but you put it in, powder starts fizzing. You think, oh, what? Maybe not so bad. It's a little bit sweet, fizzy, sweet, little bit of tang to it. Um, things do, but then it all fizzes and melts, and you sort of go. Could I get another spoon now and put it in? I'm not even going to freaking try. I don't think it's as bad as those really bad ones, but it's still next year. So, sod it. And that eye freaking burns. Soon bloody find out if it's this one. We shall, <coughs> we shall see. It's bloody hot. This is the first thing I'll show you. I'm sort of taking things to town and trying to declutter a bit. And I see things and then I clutter again. But this new stall on the, the market was selling bits and bobs and there was one or two bits that I really liked but I thought steady on boy but this it's not particularly goth um, but I like it I saw it there and I thought that is really flipping nice so I'll show you what it is and unlike things I buy very cheap. This was a fiver which I, I still think is a good price and I think it would have been a hell of a lot more than that brand new. And it's this, it's glass and it's it's clear glass with a 
a green streak going through the center of the glass and the top is uh, mottled for the want of a better word and the bottom is the the streak comes down and then goes round Ooh. now this you could put all sorts in the top if you want to be a bit ritual or something you could put ritualistic stuff in or whatever if you just want to be fat put chocolates in like me um, or whatever saying that chocolates don't make you fat um, yeah so it's like that and if you look it's all base at the back here so all this bowls sort of just supported and if I come closer you'll see how it goes and that is it just took my fancy it sits there and I thought I just got to have that it can sit somewhere I can put sweets or something in if I got company and they just want to have a sweet or whatever or whatever but that is flipping I just think it's gorgeous so I'm gonna put it somewhere that I don't freaking break it before I use it like that The other two lots of bits I bought today, one, uh, you know me, I haven't got enough crosses ever. I've got, must be 10 hanging out there, big ones. I bought this one today. This was gonna be 15 pound, cause it, it is different. And the other one, um, I think she said, six and she just said well give us 20 for the two so that's one which i think is a lot different to the other ones that i've got because this one would be a little bit like the other ones i got but again it's totally different in style it's still a cross but it's got the uh the gems and all, all the fret work and that on it so if you can see it that's a new one that flipping gorgeous that one and I did have it on coming home and I took it off to do this but I will put a picture up of the two so two more of those And same stall I got the crosses at another little stall a bit further on and there was things there you could get six things for a pound. I think it was either 50p each or you could have six for a pound. Right, so the six things I got for a pound there's a little bracelet with like crystal tops and little gem bits and that was one like that so that's one item this was a nice little item this was the, the one that got me thinking I should buy some now I've had a look at it and I think it's probably been wound up a bit too tight so I'm gonna have to have a look to see how I can just let it go or but knowing me if i did it it'll just get zing and the bits of bloody fly everywhere or whether i can get it undone but it is it's clockwork and it's a little bit of leather which i think i will probably stain black and it's got a little clock the clock has got a groove around it so it, it you push it in the leather and it it holds and there's the little clock in the leather and uh, the really nice thing is when you look at the back of it if you can see it there is all the the cogs and 
bits and bobs. It's just a pity somebody's gone one too many. So if I can't find a simple way of releasing that myself, I'm going to have to take it in the shop and pay a few bob for them to maybe do it for me. So that was the second one. Third one was this really nice ring that doesn't fit any of my bloody fingers. Normally when I buy rings they'll fit my little finger but that's that one. And it's really, really nice. That's three. Another ring, again, which actually does fit my little finger. And that has got some little jewels and a crystal in it. Fit, fit a, a lady somewhere. And the third ring I got, it's a, it's a little bit hard to see because I don't know whether they've, when they've done it they've, they've sort of buffed it up and everything and the actual top, of the, took it down a bit too far I think. But if you look inside uh, you can really see the graphic inside. You can see it on the outside if you do that. There might even be a coat of something on there that's covering it a bit. But it's a, I'd say it's an homemade one somewhere, but it's been made flipping exceptionally. And I don't know what the bit is that goes around your finger, but it doesn't look like, doesn't look like stainless steel, doesn't look like it's going to go funny either. But if I just put it on that finger for now, because it does fit my little finger. Don't know if you can see it. I shall move it about a bit. But that is a old UK chilling piece that's been bent. Does that fit your finger? Other bits been put on the back to turn it into a ring. And there you go. One British shilling. That's the fifth thing at the pound. And then the, the last bit, what I saw was this, which is, it's a lovely little wristband Again, it's it's more for a female wrist, I should imagine. It's little arts of different sorts. Um, some sort of silver metal. Doesn't look like it tarnishes or anything, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Those six items just for one pound, which I think were pretty good flipping deal. So, yeah, that's what I got today. Apart from that, any other info yet? It's a flipping stonking day. It's so flipping <coughs> humid and close out there that when you're out there, it just, just gets to you. Um, I don't know what the temperature is but it's definitely somewhere in the upper 60s um, sunny it's uh, subdued today sun wise but you still got that intense heat and because it's subdued I think it's making it clammy plus later than today at some time we are in for some downpour and maybe even a storm we shall have to see and the very last bit i've done a video on it before but i am going to do another one and probably update the original one and i wouldn't say it's paranormal um but 
it's more that end than it is that end and it's called death the greatest lie ever told Yes, of course, the body comes to an end, but we're talking about death, the greatest lie ever told. So if you're interested in that, look out for that coming up. So all that is left to do is torture myself with this fucking stuff and hope it doesn't make this eye hotter. Who bloody cares? What's a bloody burning eye when it tastes so flipping good? So folks, the beginning of the week, have a good one. Hot's up. <laughs>